Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education Video Series. You know, unicorns aren't real, but you wouldn't know it by the looks of today's project. What I've done is I've put three stick puppets and the first one is the unicorn. You can see that I've taken the slits on the die and I've just taken a coffee stir stick to slide through those slits. I could also use a popsicle stick but the longer stick is a little bit easier for the kids when they're actually doing puppet plays with their stick puppets. There's the unicorn. Here is the princess. And then next to the princess is the mermaid. And you can see that I've done layering of paper. You can also have the kids color with crayons or markers. They can watercolor depending on their age. All kinds of options. And I thought we'd just go through how to make the princess because she probably has the most detail. Although how little or how much detail will really be up to your students. First of all, decide what color you want to be the skin tone and it can match the culture of your classroom. I've gone ahead and I've done one that's more of a beige color, one that's a little more of a pinky color. The whole idea is to customize it. The beauty of making it yourself is you get to decide. So once you've got this background, you can see that I've gone ahead and I've used just some blue paper to place behind the opening for the eye. I've taken and I've cut out the place using the perforations as a guide. I've cut out where the mouth was and I've placed red behind it. But I'll bring this up and show you. You can also just cut the mouth out and stick it on top as well. Either one will work. Once you have sort of the base for where the face will be, then let's look at the hair. Now I chose yellow because I want to be able to show you how you can use markers if you want to highlight as well. So I needed to pick a color that was lighter. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a hairstyle that's kind of a flip. So I'm going to cut out around the perforations. And now I also need to go back in and cut away the face portion so that all we're left with is just the hair. Now when you've trimmed the hair, you can go back and you can use markers if you want to add shading, for instance, like maybe where the bangs might be. You can add any sort of detail that you want with colored markers or crayons. You can also go back and use markers or crayons to color in what would be her crown. So I'm going to go ahead and using a couple of different colored markers, I'm going to show instead of paper piecing, I'm going to just color the details. The perforations on the die make it easy to see if you want to follow that as a guide. So once you've added as much detail to the hair as you want, then I'm going to turn it over, add adhesive, and go ahead and place this. Use my tweezers so my hands are sort of out of the way. You can see how you've begun to layer. I'm not going to fasten this part of the hair yet. I'm going to let it stay a little bit loose because I'm going to place the dress under there. If you look at the purple, you can see I've used a white pen to just add, I'm not sure if it's going to be lace or pearls, but I'm going to go back with pencil and cut out just the, dra the dress portion. So I want to cut away where the sleeves would separate from the arm on both sides. And then I want to cut away the actual dress from the body. And I have the dress. Before I attach this, I'm going to add some more detail by trimming away the blue that I've also cut. And with pencil, I've added in where I want to trim. Now I'm going to add adhesive to the back before I place the layering of the blue on top of the purple. She's starting to look a lot more princess-like with these details. And now that I've added detail to the dress, now I'm going to put adhesive on the back and attach the dress to the body. You do want to make sure that you don't put adhesive right in the section where the slits are because you want to leave room for the, the stick to go through, to thread through. So I'm going to tuck this up under the hair. Remember, we didn't stick it down quite yet, which makes it easy for me to place this in position. Align it with the pink that's underneath, the pink layer. And you can see how it creates a really cool detailed puppet. All you need to do at this point 
is to just go back with the stick and weave it through and you have a really cool stick puppet. You know, your students, they're going to enjoy making their own stick puppets and then using them to act out all kinds of puppet shows. <laughs>